I wanted to share a bit about my role and what I do in a typical day at my job. A lot of you are here because of my Power Automate and Power BI tutorials. And you might be wondering what kind of position I have that actually requires me to use these tools. Well, though I do use these tools every day, my role doesn't actually require me to use them at all. In fact, my role didn't require me to have any experience with these tools. We'll talk more about that a bit later though. I work at a company that sells cybersecurity products. I work in the company's training department as the training operations manager. My primary responsibilities are managing the day-to-day -day customer support for the training department and learning management system or LMS administration. The LMS is the platform we use to administer product training to customers and employees. At our company, product training is both instructor-led and self-paced web-based training. We have a team of training content creators and I manage the platform, the platform that hosts their content. This includes creating the classes in the system and uploading the content to those classes. I also customize the system according to our customers' needs. For example, this year, we started offering a subscription-based payment system where we had previously only offered payment via training units. So my job was to customize the LMS to allow subscriptions as a form of payment. But enough about all of that. You wanna know what a typical day in my life looks like in my role? I could break down a typical day into customer-facing tasks, team meetings, project work time, and ad hoc work, or as my company likes to call it, unplanned work. So it's 7 a.m. and I am ready to start work. Uh, I'm tired as usual, always tired in the mornings. So let's first talk about customer facing tasks. I split days with another team member for managing customer training support cases. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I handle all customer support cases that have come in since the previous day. I also do this on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but only to wrap up in the morning, whatever came up until midnight of the previous day. So on those days, it takes probably less than an hour to resolve all the cases, but on my actual case management days, it takes usually between one to two hours of uninterrupted work time to resolve them all. I do this first thing in the morning. My dog just let me know that it is time for breakfast. Is it go on that way? Go. Let's talk about meetings. Depending on the day, I might have two or three meetings, generally one with just my operations team, another with team members from the larger training department, and another with others from other departments where we might be working on interdepartmental projects. I would say I average two meetings a day, where some days might be like four or even five meetings, and some where I don't have any meetings at all. It's time to take a break for lunch. So we'll get into the remaining two items when I return. Hey guys, so now it's afternoon. I just had lunch and I made myself a coffee, an iced coffee, because that's the only kind of coffee I drink with some peppermint mocha uh, creamer in it, and it's really good. And what we're doing this afternoon 
as we're working on um, building some power automate flows. And um, we're going to be probably doing this um, for the next two hours. And then I've got a meeting. And then after that meeting, um, I'll probably check my email again before I end the day. So let's talk about project work time. My favorite thing about this job are the projects. And fortunately for me, the bulk of the time in an average work day is spent working on projects, except for the occasional meeting heavy days, which thankfully don't happen too often. When I started at my company, most of the training operation processes were already in place. We've really only had one major change since we started selling subscriptions for training, and we are phasing out our previous form of payment. But other than that, the name of the game has been process improvement. How can we improve the customer service experience and at the same time take more work off our plates to make time for even more improvements? This afternoon, I'm going to update some Power Automate flows and also start building some new flows, mostly uninterrupted. I will still get pinged on Teams for stuff, but it's rarely ever urgent and I can answer it on the spot if possible, or depending on what it is, I'll just put it on the backlog. This is the unplanned work I mentioned, and it usually doesn't amount to more than an hour on a typical day, sometimes less, but occasionally it can consume quite a bit of time, like when something is broken and needs immediate attention. This really doesn't happen often though. So here's where I want to go back to what I touched on earlier about how when I started this position, I didn't have any experience with Power Automate and the role did not require me to use it. Instead, I discovered this tool would allow me to automate a lot of processes and free up more time to make more improvements. I also discovered that Power Automate can allow to integrate systems quickly where we would otherwise have to rely on or wait for IT to create the integration for us. I had never even touched Power Automate before I worked for this company. As our company runs on the Microsoft sphere of applications, I already had access to Power Automate. I just needed to learn how to use it. I learned by doing, setting up some basic desktop flows and moving on to more advanced flows. Now it has become an essential function on our team and something I touch every day in search of continual improvement in customer service, saving time, and giving us more control over our work. Today, the flows that I am updating are ones that send notifications to customers. What our LMS can't do natively for certain notifications, we would otherwise have to do manually, but instead, we have created flows to do the job for us. Then later, I will work on a new flow that sends an email with a link for customers to share their learning badge on LinkedIn. A lot of my tutorials are actual projects that I worked on at my job. So if you watch those, you might get a better sense of what I do with Power Automate on the daily. Well, this about wraps up my day. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my tip typical day. And if you have any questions, please add a comment below. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.